Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Jen Madrone, and tonight I want to talk a little bit about all of the old programmings and patterns that seem to haunt us and follow us around no matter how hard we try to shake them and change them and identify them. Um, because this is something that happens pretty much for everybody. These programs are so deep, they're so old, they're rooted in you know, who we think we are um, and their survival mechanisms. And so they seem to pop up over and over and over again. And so the first step is identifying those programs, noticing um, what's running the show, the mental uh, phrases, the fears, um, the programs around scarcity, around um, not being worthy or not good enough, the programs around survival, um, it goes on and on and the patterns that we have that are associated with these programs are things like um, uh, it could be like telling little white lies or just hiding um, and not really speaking our truth or um, avoiding conflict. That's a big one for a lot of people. And so these patterns and programs, once identified, then we can start to change them. And we change them by bringing our awareness to them, by noticing when they come up, by um, looking and seeing, you know, what triggered that program and starting to understand it a little better. But sometimes even when we have done this work for a while and we have focused on changing the program and we feel like maybe we've gotten through it and we're feeling pretty good and then all of a sudden something happens and it pops back up. We find ourselves back in that same spot where we were and it's really frustrating because we question, you know, if we really had done the work or the healing that we thought we had done and we feel like we're just back to square one. However, this is part of the process. It's just another layer. It's uh, the ability to see how, you know, it still has a hold on you in some ways. And like I've noticed, um, one of my old programs was taking things personally. And uh, it really came up with my family and my kids. And I felt like I really had um, moved past it. I was really proud of the fact that I didn't take things personally. Well, now that my youngest daughter is a teenager, I'm challenged with that again, because teenagers are really good at that, <laughs> at challenging that one. And so, you know, so I had to take another look at it and say, okay, you know, maybe I didn't clear it completely. And so here's my chance to completely clear it or at least clear another level of it because it will probably come up again and you know when we're challenged and it just helps us to continue to grow and raise that vibration and so the other thing that we have to remember when we're looking at these old programs and we're finding the roots of them whether they're based in childhood or traumas or things that we experienced in the past um, finding those roots are important and then changing it on an energetic level is essential because that's where the programming lives. It's not just in the mind, but it's also in the energy field, in the body. And so we have to do the work of changing, continuing to um, heal it on an energetic level and also change it on a vibrational level. And so all of the things that we do to raise our vibration, um, such as meditation, breathing practices, yoga, all of those things will help to write a new pattern and a new program for it. And so just remembering also that above all else, when we're moving through this work and we're feeling frustrated and maybe judging ourselves for not being able to get through it, that self-love is the most important thing. So as you go through it, if you can just love the shit out of yourself and just stay aware and watch it and rewrite the pattern because that's what we're doing. We're rewriting the pattern. We're rewriting all of the um, responses and the way that our body responds um, physically and chemically and it takes some time. So 
if you're at this point and you feel really stuck with some old programs and old patterns that you can't seem to shake and you're ready to change it on a deep energetic level, then please send me a private message and we can talk and see if the work that I do with my clients would be a good fit for you. So if you have any questions, just leave them here in the, I don't see any so far, but leave them here in the comments. And, um, and that's about it. So sending so much love to you all and I'll see you in the Facebook group. Have a great night.